Hey guys, we're starting this episode off with a um, beta fish because this channel is all about beta fish. Makes sense. The let me introduce to you Max. His full name is Maximus Decimus Meridius after the Gladiator movie, and I got him at my local pet shop. He is a steel blue crown tail, as you can see, his fins are a bit, little bit damaged. He got into a fight with his tank mate, um, but he is recovering nicely. As you can see in his caudal fin, uh, there is some white tissue growing back already, so he's doing quite all right. Um, he has a pretty nice body. His finish does not look all that balanced to me, but I really like his character, so he makes for a really nice pet. I'm gonna feature a fish every beta vlog, so if you want your fish to be featured on my YouTube channel, send me an email with some footage of your fish, a little bit of background information would be nice as well, and your fish just might get famous. What's up guys, welcome to the first beta vlog. My name is Michiel and I started this YouTube channel because I'm really excited about a project I'm about to start. I am going to start my own crown tail line. I'm into beta since 2010 and it's been a dream for me to start my own line and create the beta that I think will look amazing. And I'm gonna just do just that and I really want to share this journey with you. So if you're into beta, if you're into crown tail specifically or uh, just breeding in general, hit the subscribe button. And because this is the first vlog, I'm gonna talk to you about what my setup is gonna be and the plans that I have. So stay tuned. So here is another tank, this tank is a lot larger, this is 120 liters, so that's about 30 gallons. Um, it's pretty large, it has a steel frame under it and just let me grab it for size for reference. Pretty huge, pretty nice, this will be my grow out tank. I've already cleaned it, I cleaned it with a solution of uh, vinegar and soap, it works really well uh, to get an old aquarium fresh. Um, you got these pieces of rubber in it, you, are, you can't really remove these, it's just kind of annoying uh, because it's glue. Um, I'm gonna sand this one, uh, give it a new layer of black paint, just spray paint, just simple, just get those things refurbished and get the ammo off, I'm called Michael, but uh, I just want it to be black. Uh, I got this tank for... I traded it, this relief for two bottles of wine in a second hand on like the Dutch equivalent of Craigslist, so that's pretty nice. And this is gonna be my grow out tank. So all the little fry will be starting their lives in this tank. So in this room I will put the 120 liter. This is the lamp that fits exactly inside of it, so uh, the 30 gallon tank will be in this corner. So lamp for scale I guess so here will the fry be uh, this couch will need to go and um, my girlfriend is in Spain for uh, over half a year so I'm gonna be pretty much forever alone no but just kidding I got two more couches in the living room don't really need this one and I figured this would be a nice space to put a rack maybe even put a drip system uh, I want to house my adult bedas here uh, and so they just need to be housed separately. So you kind of need a lot of space. So I'm probably gonna put them here. By the way, here's some more aquarium stuff. These are air pumps. So pretty nice. I got four because I got a good deal on them. And this is airline tubing. I'm gonna need a lot of that. And it's like eight bucks for 15 meters. I'm not sure what that is in US metrics. But and that's an Australian boomerang. But not the real one, just for sure.
so this is my 60 liter tank that's about 15 gallons for those guys from overseas and as you can see there is a problem with this tank uh, during the winter time the sun gets pretty low as you can see it just shines straight on aquarium like almost full day and I have not been paying enough attention to this tank Get a sharp. Here we go. Oh, hello. But I have not been paying enough attention to this fish and to this aquarium. Uh, as you can see, his fins look pretty ripped. That's because he had a fight with his original tank mates. Um, that's well, his tank mates are not there anymore. Uh, let's keep it at that. But because of the sun, um, the LJ really exploded, so before I can get into breeding, of course, I'll first have to fix this tank. I'm gonna take the fish out, I'm gonna get the LJ out, uh, and yeah, kind of repair some of the damage that has been done, because this is obviously a really bad situation. So this is what the clean water looks like. Here's your little fish guy. And this is what the aquarium looks like. You can see it's pretty darn green. So I'm gonna change a lot of the water and uh, yeah, get most of the LJ out. I removed most of the LJ with my hands. So it came loose from the plants. Uh, so now we're just gonna suck it up and do like maybe you like 80% water change um, and get all the floating stuff. As you can see, it's really cloudy and we wanna get most of it out. So I'm gonna do just that. water should look when you take it out of your aquarium. So, here is a bottle. I, if you are Dutch, use these fruit juice things from our time they're clear I like them uh, I wanted to fit with this tubing I already got here you see the heater the magnet and some things I net yet need to clean like see how green that is yeah we'll get to that in a minute in a jar but we'll get to that in a minute so I'm gonna Make a hole in the top, squeeze the tube in and cut the bottom off.
We go. I want to make sure that no sharp edges. Those sharp edges might hurt your plan or your fish. There you have it. So. Let's try it out, let's see if it works. see this that it actually does work but I think we need a bigger hose because we just pull up all the crap and then only a part of it gets taken out by the hose so we need to go hose hunting although I feel that it's working but it's just not getting all the debris out. You just put it in and you pull it up and it pulls a little bit of your gravel up but the suction is not strong enough to get the gravel out but it is enough to get the dirt out. That's the idea. But we need a bigger hose because at the moment we're pulling the dirt out of the gravel. And as you can see tank is getting really cloudy again so bigger hose more suction power should do the trick so look at that water this is the gravel water it's pretty brown the aquarium is pretty much almost empty little dude is here doing fine swimming laps new tank so as you can see a lot of the water taken out and uh, this is should be about 80% water change and you would never want to do like 100% water change because of the uh, the tank has been cycled and you have beneficial bacteria and so you never want to get rid of all the water uh, I don't want the shock to be too big for my fish so I'm just gonna fill the tank back up again uh, and, and maybe in two or three days I will do this again, maybe with a bigger hose, because this hose is really tiny and it just does not get all the gunk out when I use it to uh, vacuum the gravel. So, it's a war, it's not a single battle, it's really a war versus LGI and the sun makes it really hard. Those little things over there are actually planned nutrition, uh, because I want my plants to win battle on LGI. So I'm gonna fill it back up, I'm gonna do some cleaning on the heater and the, the thermometer and make sure the water is on the same temperature as it was before around 28, uh, 28 degrees Celsius that's about I believe about 78 degrees Fahrenheit not sure if you're from the US and you're sure let me know if it's true or not uh, and then uh, we can put this guy back in. What up, little fella? So, by the way, use something like this, something like AquaSafe or some water conditioner that takes the chlorine out of the water. Uh, it will take 
uh, lives <laughs> with your fish. I've been there, done that, cost me a fish, and never again, so put something into this if you live in a European country and don't know what the situation is like uh, abroad, but better safe than sorry, this stuff is pretty cheap and I've had this for I think like half a year and it's only, it, it, it still got like more than half, so it's cheap, it's better for your fish, you shoot it. Here is how I do my water change. When I put the water back in, I just put this bucket on top of here. There's some gravel in it, but I clean it out. And just the reverse way of getting water out of the tank. Just let it drip in. Don't mess up the layout of the tank too much. Chill out a bit, grab a towel, and clean the floor because the floor is all wet. And then this guy can go back into the tank. So, as you can see, you can actually see shit because the tank's almost filled up. This will be the last bucket. There's still quite a lot of water in it, so we'll go up to about here, I guess. Here's the little guy. We're gonna put him back now because this water has actually been out of. Uh, or he has been out of the tank for a while and the sun just disappeared so I actually had to put on a light it's getting dark outside so I'm gonna put it back because the water is getting cooler uh, normally I'd like to acclimatize him a bit um, but I think he'll be alright uh, I always when I do water changes I put like, warm water in the tank so uh, this is not cold water uh, and actually Put the thermometer in it first to see how warm it is, but it should be about right. So, just give me a sec. Uh, I'm just gonna scoop the guy up. There we go. He doesn't want to leave. There we go. So there we go. I put the heater back in. I forgot the thermometer. Now that I think of it, put the lid back on. Put the wine rack back in place. And as you guys can see, you can actually see the aquarium. You can see the plants. And there is still a lot of debris. On the ground because we tried to gravel vac that but I will have to gravel vac a little bit better with a better gravel vac especially at this side you can really see it a lot little guy what up no oh. look at that you can actually see the fish before I started the cleaning we had actually trouble focusing the fish and getting the fish on camera and now you can actually see him pretty easily and so this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy a bigger hose for the gravel vac so we can make a better gravel vac ourselves and this needs a filter especially if you're using those aquarium magnets to clean the glass I mean you can use them and then the algae will be off the glass but it will still be in your tank and your filter actually makes sure that it, it attracts the uh, algae, so the algae will be on the filter every now and then to clean the filter and that way you get the algae out of here. That's the idea. So, um, unfortunately I'll have to continue tomorrow because I need to go to the store and the store is closed by now. But for you guys, I can just cut to tomorrow. So, I'll do just that. Blah, blah.